Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you. Spring break is almost upon us, and for many families, it is indeed a nice break, but for others, it can be stressful with kids acting out and parents getting frustrated. So here to help us navigate this tricky time is our parenting expert, Julie Friedman-Smith. Good morning to you, Good Julie. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. So, you know, spring break, of course, can be a really fun time, but yes. it can also get a little tricky. What's the number one thing parents need to keep in mind? Well, the number one thing is that it is not our job as parents to entertain our kids from beginning of day to end. Okay. That is important, and it's always re important to remember that even though it seems like it's freedom and, and we can just let everything go, if we don't have some consistency, if we don't have some structure in there, it's It'll all going to fall apart. Yes. Yes. The kids count on having a day and they know how it goes when they're at school. Right. We need to put some of that structure in. Okay. So and set everybody up for success. Right. Okay. So even if we want a little bit of a break um, or a little bit of a change of the routine just to mix things up and yes. have a little bit of fun, we still need some parameters is what you're saying. That's right. Okay. We cover that all in our spring break survival chapter <laughs> in our book, A Year of Intentional Parenting, because this is, these are questions that we get asked year oh, after enough. year after year. So some things to keep consistent for your kids sleep to an extent and maybe if they're going to bed a little later great have them sleep in a little later if they can't sleep in do yourself a favor and get them into bed <laughs> at regular time because yes. with a lack of sleep they melt down faster right uh, food keeping food somewhat consistent making sure that they're eating at regular times and still eating some of the healthy stuff obviously it's going to shift a little bit but the more consistency we can keep the it's setting us all up for right. success right okay and just getting clear with expectations and consequences. So if you're going to be home the whole time, things still need to happen. Groceries still need to be bought. Right. Dishwashers still need to be unloaded. Right. So get clear about that and let your kids know what the day is going to look like just so that they, they have some sense of what's coming. Yes. yes, And there's some time for them to hang out and there's some time for them to help out. Just let them know when it's coming. Right. My kids totally respond to that. If I let them know, okay, after school today, we have to run errands, just so you know, that's what's gonna happen. It's a much better result in the end. Yes, because so nobody likes those thing. things flying at them. No, right. Out of Adults don't either, right? No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about if you're traveling? Because a lot of families do travel with their kids on spring break. What happens then? Right. So be realistic is what we, <laughs> we beg for parents. Because just because you're going to this new wonderful place, you're still taking the same people with you, the same problems, the same fun. It's all just moving to a different location. So again, you want to get clear. And if you can be clear ahead of time on... You know, how many pops are they allowed? Who, how much money are they going to spend? Where is it coming from? Are they using their allowance? Are you giving them money? How many times a day are they going to the pool? Are you wanting to do other things? Uh, how many ice cream cones are they allowed to have every day? Right. If you can plan some of that in advance and let them know, then they know not to ask for the fourth one and then for you to be wishy-washy about it and then get into an argument. Right, you know, right. It's about getting clear with those expectations up front. Up front, okay, at the start. I have to ask about screens, because of course yes. that's the default for a lot of parents when they don't know what to do with the kids. Yes. What are the rules when it comes to spring break and screens? What should we be thinking about? What we need to remember is that a lot of the times it can be like, well, they want their downtime, we'll put them in front of a screen. While that is physical downtime, it is mental stimulation. So if we park our kids in front of a stimulating activity for hours on end, they are going to be wound up. And <laughs> right. then we have to deal with that. So again, have a meeting this weekend and make a plan for how many hours of screen time they can have. Do they need to be broken up? What else needs to happen? Do they need to get outside for an hour? Are they going to be reading or playing board games, dancing? Whatever is important to your family, just map it out and have the kids involved in planning that so that they feel they have a say and you know that you're not going to lose your mind over the next week. <laughs> and that's a great thing. It's important. That's really good for yes. everybody. Julie, thank you so much. Fantastic advice. Thank you. Always.